but um, in short, I just don't think he was ready. Most artists would leap at the chance to have their work exhibited and toured internationally. But Jimmy Durham has spent a lifetime proving that even by the often mercurial standards of the art world, he is anything but typical. I started to ask him if he would consider doing a full-scale retrospective in the U.S. and he turned me down, always very politely, and this went on for about seven or eight years. Anne Elgood, senior curator at the Hammer Museum in Los Angeles, was concerned that Durham, who is American but has lived in Europe since 1995, was disappearing from the consciousness of the art world. She eventually was able to convince the artist to permit the exhibition of work from his lengthy and prolific career. And we were able to locate a number of early works from the late 80s and early 90s and mid 80s, which I think has, is very important and has added a lot to the exhibition. But I was also equally as committed to showing the more recent work because Jimmy con continues to be an incredibly active artist. And now after touring museums in the U.S., Jimmy Durham at the center of the world has arrived in Saskatoon as one of the first major exhibits at the new Ramey Modern Gallery. He's been so significant in terms of, uh, the, of, of art in the last you know, 30 or 40 years. It's just wonderful to be able to be the only Canadian venue to be able to actually stage this exhibition. The exhibition includes nearly 175 pieces. They are primarily sculptures, but also include Durham's paintings, drawings, and written work. While the mediums have varied over nearly half a century of work, there is a common theme. The way that we as a, as a people, and I'm talking globally, uh, put up uh, borders and, and uh, to divide people into categories, and he questions those categories. He's always looking for, as he says, a place to stand in the world that uh, is free from those kind of boundaries. Durham has been a champion of indigenous rights throughout his life, something that is reflected in his work and made Saskatoon a fitting choice to show this exhibition. The conversation around Indigenous issues is so present and forefront in Saskatoon and throughout Canada in ways that frankly aren't happening in the U.S. in the ways that they should. So I knew immediately that this was in a way a perfect venue for Jimmy's work. But beyond the message conveyed by the art, Elgood says Durham's work should be appreciated for its impressive aesthetic qualities. I personally really love sculpture. I'm very drawn to it as a medium. And he is so adept with materials. And his thinking about materials is so deep and so knowledgeable. And you see that in the work. Jimmy Durham at the center of the world will be on display at the Ramey Modern through August 12th. And there are a number of special events scheduled in conjunction with the exhibition. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.